Welcome to Kids Church Online and welcome to Wild Kyle. Well, hey guys. Wow. Last week we had a challenge for all of you to send us a video of one of your adventures. And here is one of those adventure videos. Hi Kids Church. My name is Katniss. I'm six years old and I'm going to go on a singing adventure. I want to see Jesus and run into his arms. I want to see Jesus and run into his arms. Wow, thank you so much for sending us those videos. They were so fun to watch. We also said that the winning adventure was going to win Wild Kyle's hat. And we are going to show the winning adventure at the end of Kids Search Online. Thank you guys so much for sending your videos. They were so, so fun. Let's watch another one together, hey? Hey there, Wild Kyle. I'm a huge fan of you. I'm doing a joke and riddle adventure. Why are fish so smart? Well, you really want to know, Kyle? Because they swim in schools. Wow, that was so fun. Yes, and last week we learned about how Jacob tricked Esau and today we're going to hear about all the problems that Jacob had from all that trickery. Well, Jacob also said something that was a real game changer. Oh yes, and today we're going to hear more about that in our Bible story, memory verse, and prayer time. And don't forget, we have some silly stuff. Oh yes, enjoy. I want to think like Jesus. I want to talk like Jesus. I want to walk like ooh, Jesus. Ooh, ooh. That is awesome. That reminds me of our Bible story. Uh, I don't think so because last week you said that we were going to talk all about Jacob's problems, mm -hmm. all the trouble that he got into because he made the bad choice of doing things his own way instead of trusting God's word. Very true, very true, very true. And we also played a lot of games last week too. But there were two words in Jacob's life that were a game changer. Wow, well then what two words did he say? Well, I did promise that we would look at Jacob's problems, so before we get to those two words, let's do a little review on Jacob's problems. Abraham and Sarah had a baby named Isaac when they were very, very old. Isaac later had twin boys of his own, Jacob and Esau. The old rule was that the oldest son would always get the birthright of inheritance and the blessing of honor and power. But God said that Esau would serve Jacob. And that is where Jacob got into trouble. He didn't trust God, instead he tried to do things his own way. Now, you said that you wanted to do things God's way. Yes, I said I want to think like Jesus, I want to talk like Jesus, I want to walk like Jesus. Yes, that is great, but that was not Jacob's idea just yet. Jacob used lies and tricks to get the birthright and blessing, and that is when the trouble began for him. First, Esau was so mad that Jacob had to move away from his parents and family to stay safe. Second, he started being tricked by the new family he married into. He was tricked into marrying someone he did not like and had lots of family fights. He was tricked several times at his shepherding job with how he was paid. Many, many years later, he was tricked and lied to by his own sons and even lost one of them. Oh man, Jacob sure had some tricks up his sleeve, but in the end, the tricks were on him. Okay, so we got to review how Jacob tricked his brother Esau and got into so many problems that he got tricked himself in marriage, in work, even his own sons. They tricked him and lied to him. So now are we ready to hear those two words that Jacob said that changed everything? Yes, Jacob's two very important words actually remind me of what you said when you said you want to do things God's way. Well, yes, I said, I said, I want to think like Jesus, I want to talk like Jesus, I want to walk like Jesus. That's way more than just two words. Yes, are you ready for those two important words now? Yes, what are they? Jacob's two important words were... I interrupt this with a special announcement using lots, lots of words that mean nothing. Absolutely nothing. So many words and they mean very little. To follow God's word, we need to know God's word. Thankfully, Brock taught us another verse from the Bible. Proverbs 3 verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart.
heart. I want to think it. I want to talk like Jesus. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. I want to walk like Jesus. I want to think like Jesus, talk like Jesus, and walk like Jesus. But in order to do that, we got to ask for his help. So let's pray and ask Jesus to help us walk like Jesus, talk like Jesus, and think like him. And you at home can follow along with us as we pray. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Help me to think like you. Help me to think like you. By thinking about your word. By thinking about your word. Help me to talk like you. Help me to talk like you. By speaking your word. By speaking your word. Help me to walk like you. Help me to walk like you. By doing what your word says. By doing what your word says. Thank you that I can trust you. Thank you that I can trust you. With all my heart. With all my heart. Amen. Amen. Thanks for praying with us. Whoa, that's too bad that Caleb got interrupted by that announcement about absolutely nothing. I was really eager to hear what those two words were. Hopefully, we'll get to hear about them a little later on. Until then, I've got some important words for today too. We have a new memory verse for this week, and it's Proverbs 3 verse 5, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Manik said she wanted to think like Jesus, talk like Jesus, and walk like Jesus. Well, I think the words from this new memory verse in Proverbs 3 verse 5 will be a really good start to help her think about, talk out, and walk out by obeying. Let's see a family putting this into action by thinking about, talking about, and walking out this verse. Hey Moses, you look worried. What are you worried about? I'm worried about new friends. Oh man, well, it's a perfect time to practice our new verse. <laughs> Since we want to think like Jesus, talk like Jesus, and walk like Jesus, let's start by thinking about our new verse. The new verse is, trust in the Lord with all your heart. So let's think about it. Next, let's say the verse together. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Since we want to think like Jesus, talk like Jesus, and walk like Jesus, to walk like Jesus, we can turn our worries into a prayer. Do you want to pray with me? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That I can trust in you with all my heart. I can trust in you with all my heart. Help me not to worry. Help me not to worry. Help me with my friends. Help me with my friends. Help me to trust in you. Help me to trust in you. Amen. Amen. Shooby do. I want to think like you. I want to talk like you, walk like you too. You see, it's true. A guy like me can learn to be someone like you too. Oh, hey kids. I was just looking through all the books in the library and the best one I could find is definitely the Bible. It's got a lot of important words in it. We'll be back a little later to review our memory verse, but until then, let's go back to Caleb and Manick and see what those two important words were that Jacob said. Wow, I can't believe that there was an announcement about nothing that interrupted us hearing what those two important words were that Jacob said that changed everything. Yeah, no kidding. Jacob, after not trusting God and instead tricking Esau and his dad to get the birthright, he ended up having so many problems and tricks played on him in the end. In one of those problems, Jacob ended up very afraid. Jacob suffered many, many, many problems in his life after doing things his own way. And one day, he was super afraid of meeting his brother Isaac again years after his tricks. He knew that Esau would be super mad to have been tricked out of his birthright and blessing. Jacob always had tricks up his sleeve, but this time he did something different. He started with two words. Wow, what were those two important words that he said? Yes, Jacob said two very important words that really remind me of what you said earlier about following God. Yes, I know, I know. I said, I want to think like Jesus. I want to talk like Jesus. I want to walk like Jesus. But what were the two important words? Yes, the two important words that Jacob said were... As I interrupt this with another special announcement, this time not saying things with a lot of words that mean nothing. No, 
This time they're very important words, but they're all wrong. So in order to know the right words, you have to know the wrong words and all the wrong words in their wrongness. That's very important to know the wrongness because some of the words can be wrong in the long ways, but sometimes right ways in their wrongness. So that is very important. We must think about it. Oi, interrupted again by those nonsense announcements. I think that you need to tell us very quickly what those two words are before we get interrupted again. Yes, yes, absolutely. So Jacob was really afraid, but instead of resorting to trickery, he trusted God and said two important words. And those words were, you said. What? You said? How does that change anything? Because he was talking to God. Instead of doing things his own way, he trusted God. He remembered what God said, he said what God said, and he trusted instead of doing things his own way. Oh, wow. Does that mean that all his problems were gone then? Well, actually, he still had problems, but God was with him through the problems. See, problems are always gonna come in our life, but when we trust God, he sees us through the problems. Here are some problems in Jacob's life and how God was with him in those. Jacob wrestled with the angel of the Lord and received a blessing. Jacob was also given a new name, Israel. He had a very, very big family whom God called his special people. I want to think like Jesus. I want to talk like Jesus. I want to walk like Jesus. Me too. You said those were the two most life-changing words for Jacob because that's when he started to think about God's word and say God's word. Hey, Brock. Hey, Shana. Are you talking about thinking about God's word and saying God's word? I was. What a great time to ask about a new memory verse. Do you have a new verse for us today? Why, yes, we do. It's a new one in Proverbs 3, verse 5, and it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do you remember how to find it in your Bible? I do. I've been practicing with your digging tool called CPCV, which stands for Contents, Page, Chapter, Verse. Awesome. Let's give it a try with this new memory verse. Let's do it. Come on. Okay, everybody. Do you have your Bibles ready? I got mine. Okay, let's start with C. Do you remember what C stands for? Yes, it stands for Contents. Contents. That's the page with the list of all the books in the Bible. Got it. The next letter is P. Do you remember what that stands for? Yes, P is for page, the page number. Mm -hmm. What page number is Proverbs on? Um... Oh, Proverbs is 615 in my Bible. 615. Got it. Awesome. The next C stands for chapter. That's the big number in your Bible. We're looking for chapter three. Ooh, so one, two, three. I got it. Awesome. The last letter is V. Do you remember what that stands for? Yes, it stands for verse. That's right. And the verse is the small number in your Bible. We're looking for verse five. Two, three, four, five. Proverbs three, verse five. We found it. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. I'm so glad we can trust in the Lord with all our hearts. You said it. I want to think like Jesus by thinking about his word. I want to talk like Jesus by saying his word. And I want to walk like Jesus by obeying his word. Me too. I'm so glad we have our digging tool to learn more about God's word. Bible high five. Jacob used a lot of tricks to get his own way, but this just ended up giving him a lot of problems. But in the end, he said two important words. You said. The reason they're so important is because he was talking to God. He was trusting God instead of doing things his own way. He remembered the promise God said, he said what God said, and he trusted God instead of doing things his own way. I wanna trust God instead of doing things my own way. How about you? So good. I wanna pray like that too. I wanna say, God, you said, you said trust in the Lord. You said with God, nothing is impossible. You said, you will always be with me. You said so many things in the Bible and I want to pray those things back to you. Oh, so good. Well, we have Wild Kyle with us here again. Hey guys, we promised we would show you the winning video. So here it is. Hi guys, so I'm going on a v adventure. So I, oh guys, look, it's a lizard. Look guys, a lizard. 
Wow, that was such a great adventure. Thank you so much, Jessica, for sending that in. And congratulations, you win my very own hat for all of your great and wild adventures. That is so great. And we had so many wonderful and amazing videos sent to us. It was really hard to decide. Yeah, thank you guys so much for sending in so many videos to us. We had such a fun time watching all of your adventures. Oh yes, and you can send us more videos or comments, questions, ideas, or prayer requests at kidschurch at myselfland.com. Yes, please keep sending us stuff. It's awesome. We love hearing from you. Well, that's all. See ya. See you again next week at Kids Church Online. Welcome to Paul's Shipwreck Adventure by Adam. This is Paul. Hi! He's in some serious trouble. It's shallow enough to jump off. The ship is sinking. Splash! And they swim up onto shore. Oh, it's nice and warm and dry up here. Wait, is that a snake? It bit you. Don't worry, it did no harm. But it, it bit you. It's a serpent. No, it did no harm. But you must be a god. No, but I'm the servant for the most high god, friends.